Welcome back to another hotel review. I'm your commentator, Caleb Kent. For those that don't know me, I'm a vlogger, actor, content creator, host of the Caleb Kent podcast, and travel enthusiast. And in today's video, I will be reviewing Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. I got to stay at this property at the end of the past month, and here are my thoughts. Before we get started, here are some fun facts about the property. It has 1,536 rooms, it's more than 200 acres in size, and accompanies the rooms and buildings designed like a motel. The theme of the property is dedicated to the Caribbean islands. The property is split into five different building styles and colors for the rooms to represent different areas of the Caribbean. All around, you will see designated spots that are made to look like a beach with chairs and hammocks, flowers and trees commonly found in the Caribbean, dock style pathways, and architecture in the pool and buildings that are reminiscent of the culture and style of the Caribbean to capture you in the immersion of the resort. The whole resort is very beautiful and looks especially stunning when the sun is coming up or settling down. The lobby has a vibe that lets you know you are on vacation. The staff there are very welcoming to you upon your arriving and are very helpful with you with the property, where to go, and offer suggestions on dining. Speaking of dining, there are two places where you can get quick service and cheaper food or snacks. Centertown Market, which is located in the lobby, and Spyglass Grill, which is located in the Trinidad buildings. But if you want sit-down service, there are two places that are both located next to the main pool area, Banana Cabana and Sebastian's Bistro. I only ordered off of Centertown Market and it's your average Disney World food, so not much. But I did order their breakfast omelette and virgin tropical colada in the morning and it tasted good to me. I didn't have the time to eat out at Banana Cabana or Sebastian's Bistro, but I imagine its quality of food and service is pretty good. This resort is located near Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. It has bus services you can take to get to any of the parks and Disney Springs, but you can use the Disney Skyliner to get to Epcot or Disney's Hollywood Studios. And I cannot emphasize to you enough how convenient it is, especially when you want to head back to your room to wind down or take a nap in the middle of the day. Now, it's no surprise that this is a very large resort, so depending on where your room is located, you'll want to take the bus stop or Skyliner station that is the closest to your room. Speaking of your room, do not be turned off when I say it's in the fashion of a motel, because the rooms are very nice. They are soothing, clean, the beds are comfy, and it's just all around a good vibe. My only critique is that the bathroom could use at least a touch of personality to it, but other than that, it's an elegant room that you will not dread coming back to after a long day at the parks. The only issue I have with this place is very minor, and it's that the power outlets for the nightstand do not work. This could be this specific room I had, but this may be the case for some of the other rooms. And this other issue isn't really a con for me personally, but rather a con for others, and it's that if you don't like long distances to your room and everywhere else, you may not like this property. In conclusion, if you are looking for a Disney World Resort property that isn't as pricey, but still has higher value in quality, appearance, and overall experience, as well as convenience with transportation, this is a great option. If you don't like the size of the property or want something more luxurious, then I wouldn't recommend this property. But even still, I can guarantee anyone staying here will enjoy their stay. It's an amazing place with a good atmosphere and scenery. And while I plan to stay at all the other Disney properties eventually, I will definitely consider coming back one day. So, after everything I've said, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort gets a final score of 89 out of 100. Thank you for watching this hotel review, and I will see you in the next video. Over and out, on to the outro. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to go check out some other videos that I have made, you're just one click on the channel icon away from doing so. If you want to find me on social media, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. They're listed right up. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you wish to do so. And if you are or will be a returning viewer, I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.